All right, well, as the story continues, I'm realizing that this add product uh, form is still not perfect. What we wanted to do is to select from the add machines. I, it's, we have to put this product into, into a machine, okay? And the machines must be created inside of location. So location, you know, it, it's really, uh, it, it's interesting, it's interesting. So let's, let's modify this a little bit more. Um, so, okay, okay. Now, so here is how the app should work. Each machine, each product can only be added to one machine. There you go. To include a machine ID foreign key. That's right, machine ID foreign key. This is now we, uh, now it gets difficult, okay? Now it gets difficult. DII, right? Create table product. Boish. This is the problem, man. Is that you? You just need to. You need to design the the. You got to diagram the system from the very beginning. Okay, I don't want to modify the add product yet. Okay, because this is having me create the whole table, and I don't want to create a new table. Okay. Um. Okay my product table already exists and uh, so what we're gonna have to do is go to server data export well, I want to show it the schema of this table right I want to show it the schema of this table Please provide me with the SQL code that deletes all, that updates the product table so that we can make the modification of having a one-to-one -one product to machine relationship. Let's hope this helps. We have to add this constraint. This code will add a new machine ID column to the product table and create a foreign key constraint that references machines table and a unique key constraint called UK unique key mach product machine to ensure that each product can be assigned to only one machine. Is it really a product or is it a product, an inventory of products? It's only one product. It's only one product. All the 
let us hope. Okay, it worked. Now, provide me with the updated add that product handlebars that updates that only adds a product to a machine. The handlebars page needs to have a drop down so that you select the required machine and if there are none it should say add machines to add products I'm going to say give me the full page give me the full page just before before we even get into it And let's make sure you haven't been just staring at a big photo of my face, that, or a video of my face this whole time, which you've not been. While this is printing out, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, drop a comment, book a, book a Calendly uh, session to, uh, to work with me below, if you, if you so chose. Watch me drink coffee. Wee 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 new 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 Should I play some freaking eight bit music or something? I'm gonna look at my phone while this prints out. Just so you know. Hope you're okay with that. I'm going to assume that this isn't going to work without updating the get. Okay, so that's add product. Now... Should we update this as well? Yes, you should. Because what we need to have is we need to make sure that machine is getting passed in. What is it? DB that require models. Interesting. We're we're referencing a new uh, some sort of a new DB object. I'm not really sure. No, no, no. Wait. Give me the correct app dot get add product route again but make sure you take a look at my full app dot js file first and just first oh what a freaking I like how it quotes your full app.js. Yeah, there you go. App.get. App product. App.get.
Alrighty, our new antenna guy is up here. So it's quite a bit bigger. Because we need to pass into it the uh, information about our machines. That makes sense. We don't need that. Freaking blank space, do we? We don't need that blank space. I don't like that. Okay. Now, now what do we do? We restart our server. We make sure everything's saved. No little blue dots in there. Okay, we go back here. I don't want to use that. I'd like to use this. And this is going to be John User. PW123. We're going to add a product. Oh, crap. Add a machine. <laughs> Well, maybe, maybe we need to. So this whole else form here. So we need to do some updating. Add the if, okay. The updated template. So that's our new add. Machine template. OK. That should be good. Yeah, look at that. 
why does that look so good? You know, this looks good. This this is how it should be. Add a location. Add a product. See, it's add product needs to look more like add location. Why does it look? Why does add product? Well, there's no nav bar, right? Did it take the nav bar out? Right in the main container class? Yeah. Dude, there's no container. This needs to be right before body ends. Like this. We need H1 add product in there. We need to make this look a little bit nicer. Something like that. Maybe just I just want I just want this to kind of all look the same, you know. All right, well, let's get to it. Let's, you know, we're just gonna cut this off now and I'm gonna test this in the next video.